Hey guys and welcome to a quick QBase tutorial today using Orchestral Tools new library Junkie XL Percussion or Tom Holkenberg's Percussion. He approaches drum programming quite different than other percussion libraries do and it was quite difficult for me at the beginning to adapt this library to my workflow. Uh, because I like to play in rhythms on the keyboard like I would with the drums. Um, and yeah, that's not possible here with this library. Let me show you why and then let me show you how I fixed stuff. So if we go to a different percussion library actually here, Cerberus by Audio Imperia, we can see um, on this rhythm here that it doesn't matter uh, which note we press, it always triggers the same samples. But what does matter is the velocity down here. So if I play this uh, library, uh, this rhythm, and I just move these notes here all to the same note. Yeah, you can hear that depending on the velocity down here, um, harder drum samples or softer drum samples are triggered, which gives us the possibility to manipulate the velocity down here with the Cubase built-in tools. Yeah, maybe take out the dynamic like that, or maybe um, increase the velocity over time. Yes, yeah, starting soft and then getting loud at the end. Um, so we can play around with this quite fast and yeah, get the result we like. When we just take this here um, to Junkie XL Percussion Library, we have a little problem because Junkie XL Percussion doesn't care what the velocity down here is. It only cares how high the note is you play, which has the advantage that you always know which sample gets triggered. Yeah, because um, it's always the same sample on the same note, yeah? Which you can hear um, when you play the same note over again, you've got this machine gun effect, which we don't really like. But you've got complete control over the samples you would like to play. So if there's a sample in here you don't like, you just avoid it by shifting that note up and um, you haven't have to fiddle around with the velocity down here, which um, can be quite a pain on some libraries that maybe have some yeah broken or noisy samples um, in them. The disadvantage is we can't use these Cubase internal tools here yeah to quickly adapt this thing. Um, so yeah, we have to move notes around. Yeah, let's let's say we got the first note is a bit higher, then the second note is down there, then the third is there, that's there. So, so as you can see, you have to move every note around according to the velocity you played in, or you uh, record it straight away playing the right notes, but that's not very intuitive for me. So I came up with a Cubase logical editor preset to compensate this, and move around these notes according to the velocity, which, um, yeah, is on a hot key, as you can see. So this, these notes here will always follow my velocity. So no matter what I do, um, increase that, increase the dynamic, decrease the dynamic again, pull that up, pull that down. Um, Notes will always follow what I do in this velocity and I don't have to go into the notes and pull these down and pull those pull those up and those up. Yeah, it's a much faster workflow for me to just use the Cubase tools, um, put that on a hotkey and just let Cubase do its magic. So how does this logical editor preset work? Well, we go to MIDI, we go to logical editor, then we've got a blank um, logical editor here. If you haven't, just go to init and then, yeah, we start with a <laughs> uh, blank logical editor preset. So what we want is uh, we want to have type is equal to node because we want to change notes. Then we add another row. 
um, we go to value 2, which is velocity. Velocity is inside the range of, well, 1 to 127. Um, you don't have to have this line, but I like to have it um, in case you got a specific region of nodes here you don't want to have. So maybe you just don't want to adapt nodes under the velocity of 30, then you would just type in 31 here. Yeah, but let's just pick all nodes we've got. So down here we want value 1 should use value 2. Then we add another row. Value 1 is divided by 3 and then value 1 adds, well, add 55 to value 1, which basically, um, yeah, I, I just tried around fiddling with these values to find uh, the correct values to move this up and down. If you want to have all of those nodes here moved further upwards or further, further downwards, just increase or decrease this number down here. But this was what I found um, the most functional. Okay, down here we want a function transform. And yeah, then you can play around with this and hit apply. And this thing here just will follow what you do. You can save it by uh, pressing store preset up here. Let's just call it junk XL, JXL. Uh, press save, then we can go into edit, into key commands, then we can add a new macro, let's just name that JXL, we'll um, search for JXL logical preset editor, where do we have that, process logical uh, preset, should be somewhere here, then JXL, and then we add that command to our macro down here. And then we type in a key we like to assign that to the macro. So uh, now we've got a hotkey. And every time we change the velocity here, um, Junkie XL library adapts. So we can easily just take any percussion line we did um, select the notes, press the hotkey, and our Cubase macro has done its magic, or we just decrease the velocity down here. Yeah, so pretty easy to adapt this thing. Um, we could also, yeah, let that increase over time, just pull that up. So what you have to look out for when using this method is that you don't have uh, the same notes triggered um, after each other. So for example, let me just check if we've got that somewhere here. No, actually we don't. But if those here would be on the same height and we press the key, well, really the same height, still not exactly the same height. There. Yeah, then this would sound like the machine gun effect. Because it's the same sample, then you just go into here and, well, adopt that to your needs. Hope this helped you um, speed up your workflow a little bit because now you can just play in your percussion rhythms on the keyboard like you would with a real drum and don't have to bother with uh, the different uh, keys in the height and you can adjust uh, very quickly using Cubase internal uh, tools here and don't have to move around all the nodes um, to get the result you want. Take care and hope you like this uh, little Cubase tutorial and see you next time.